strokes disable more people than anything else around the world. And right now, there's a proposed law to change where ambulance was, ambulances would take stroke patients in Ohio for treatment. First News reporter Desiree Goslin spent the day investigating what this means. Desiree's live in the studio to share what she found out. I'm holding the proposed bill 302, which if passed would help EMTs to make a quicker decision how to help people who have had a stroke. We all know that Ohio is a diverse state. From townships to cities, every hospital has its own ability to treat people who have had a stroke. And in rural hospitals, medical staff might not have access to state of the art equipment. If the bill passes, it would help EMTs figure out which hospital stroke patients should go to. Time is life. If you have a stroke, getting it treated immediately is crucial to survival and recovery. Huck Hughes knows this all too well. His niece had a stroke when she was just 16 years old. We were very lucky in the sense that there was a stroke center five minutes away and they was able to treat her within 10 to 15 minutes of the onset of the symptoms. Uh, if, it, if we would have been at home, that would not have happened. They had already traveled from rural Columbiana County to Youngstown when the stroke happened, but not everyone is so fortunate to be close to an emergency room that can handle a stroke. The hospitals in Ohio are fine hospitals. Uh, some are just simply set, not set up and equipped to deal with certain problems. It would require the state board of emergency medical, fire and transportation services to develop guidelines for the uh, assessment, triage, and transportation of stroke patients to hospitals. Those guidelines would let local EMTs develop plans to determine where stroke patients go. A previous Ohio law created a three-tier system that ranks hospitals for their ability to treat strokes. We are not good at coming up with medical protocols, but we're good with providing guidance to help those who can do so to be able to have the flexibility to meet the needs of their local communities. The family of Lauren Thomas is actively supporting these new state guidelines. This will keep loved ones with us. The CDC says one person has a stroke about every 40 seconds, meaning while you've been watching this story, three people in America have had a stroke. This proposed stroke treatment law, Bill 302, is in Ohio Senate. There's a companion bill in the House, and coincidentally, tomorrow is World Stroke Day is de designed to bring awareness to stroke prevention and treatment. In the studio, Desiree Goslin, WKBN 27 First News.